Hey, what is going on, YouTube? It is Blue, and we're back with um, another kill video. This one is going to be my Mythic Council. Um, if you guys ever uh, checked in on the stream, um, we have been progging on this for a couple weeks, actually, um, maybe three weeks. Um, but we finally got it down. We got it down to a 95%. Really happy about this. I actually died at the end. Um, so I'm really, really happy about this parse. Um, I'm really happy because we're probably not going to be coming back to this boss. It was a little frustrating. Now, um, when I was doing this over on Twitch, I was just going to go ahead and play it, and we're going to go ahead and play it. Unfortunately, um, I was listening to music, so it actually cut off a good portion of the sound, so you guys can't hear it. Um, and then another portion is they uh, they, they actually didn't edit that song. Um, so some of this is is muted and then some of it's not um, but just because of YouTube I'm gonna go ahead and mute the whole thing and then I think it's probably better for you also if I just kind of walk you through what I'm thinking we end up doing 150 pulls on this and whatnot so that's it the way that we pulled this is we pulled these two bosses away you're gonna see here I forgot to rip so really unfortunate um, but obviously you get your three casts off rip convoke um, these two bosses right here were at the very edge, so I got really good value for my Convoke. We had me, Feral, we had another Boomkin, and then um, we had a Restager that was going Boomkin. So essentially three Convokes just hitting one single target boss. Um, the Legendaries that I'm running, um, I am actually running um, Apex Predator. Um, so you see me occasionally be ripping... Um, some of these ads, but for the most part this very first I would say like the very first phase of this boss is just getting the boss to 50% and bursting um, So I wouldn't go really crazy with these primal wrath casts now for me I found a really good opportunity is um, you see that attendant spawn um, That was kind of up here attendants obviously are going to shield the boss um, Usually those want to get nuked down as soon as possible either by range or whatnot um, so what I do is feral it's you know you your attendant damage is not going to be super great unless you get free bites and then you can go ahead and bite the attendant just to nuke it down um, but what you want to do is use that attendant when attendant is up that's like a good time to primal wrath okay so you're probably going to see this in the video and i'll try to catch it for you um, so what we're going to do is we see the attendant up right away i'm going to go ahead and hit it um, you might not want to be raking it just because the attendant should be falling down pretty quickly and that's kind of one of your <clears throat> abilities that is really lackluster as far as damage right away especially if it's going to die really quickly so i'm running around here so i'm probably primal wrathing this is also a good time to primal wrath and i got a free bite out of it which is nice and then i might not primal again i'm getting free bites so i may actually primal wrath because i'm getting really good rng out of it Okay, that was the Convoke. Add, so I probably primaled. Yep, whenever the add's up. Got good value out of that, because I got a free bite, so that's always good. Now, you're going to see me position here. Not the best. Oh, don't know what's going on here. <laughs> you're going to see how I position. I position myself here. Um, I should be stacked with my team, um, but I usually, I like to be in the back of the boss. I've actually had a few stacking with my team. If the tank decides to tank it, you know, kind of like he is right now, or it's a little bit more face this way, um, I've had a few bites that go through that miss, um, and obviously as feral players, you know, that's that feels really, really bad, and that's just not good. Um, so I have been through 150 poles. I've kind of gotten used to being on the rear right there. And then um, getting used to the dance phase with everybody else dancing around me and me maneuvering possibly. Um, so these ads are up. When these ads pop up and the interrupt boss, which is right there, you see that cast. Um, that's when I'm going to Primal Wrath. I hold it until those ads come up, getting some good value. This may be another good time to Primal Wrath because it feels weird doing this rotation. Can't really get super in there to get some single target value ads are up so i'll probably primal wrath here okay a little too far but i got some free bites so i got some really good damage on that ad 
See, I'm sneaking in, sneaking over to the middle. I didn't really quite hit that ad in the middle, um, but sneaking to get that Primal Wrath in. A little funky, looks like I got out of cat form there. Okay, so these ads in the middle, they're coming up, so I'm probably going to try to stretch over there and grab them. Yeah, I'm looking to Primal. Ooh, that was a little weird. Primaling this side too. Okay, so now I got everything primal, so now I'm probably going to just stick straight to boss. It phased. Um, I end up not getting a full convoke value off. That was my mistake. I should have been looking better at the percentage and getting that convoke prior. Because now I'm getting all these free bites, um, but it's wasted, right? Because I primaled, to, I primaled when he was so close to 50% when I should have been just focusing single target. Um, but that's my mistake. And it comes down to just getting used to it. I mean, obviously, 150 pulls, you kind of know. We kept going back and forth from having four healers to five healers. Um, so it made it a little bit confusing on when to pop what. Um, usually with four healers, I can convoke prior to this dance, where if I had um, one more DPS, then I would convoke right now, essentially. So now we got to get this ad up here. So I'm probably going to go get that ad. Um... I think this should have been a range call, me going back to the team, because this is a lot of wasted time right here. And I almost got uh, cleaved by that boss. Um, but that was just me making the call that that ad needed to die soon, sooner rather than later. Getting some CCs off of Stomp, you know, that's pretty good. CZs are cleaved right now. Looks like another one's coming in. Going to primal those guys in the back. And it's not super clear, you guys, but um, we're looking at this boss percentage. Sometimes this uh, this gets in the way. Um, but these boss percentages is what's kind of phasing the boss. So how we try to phase this one is we want to get them to 0%. Is like right after an attendant spawn so we can get the most uptime on the, uh, the very last boss. Um, so we can lust. So I'm not sure if it's on this pull or not. Wow, I got two free bites there. That feels pretty nice. There's tendons up, so I'm going to cleave everything with rip. Go on attendant. And you guys will figure it out. So now we want to nuke the boss, right? Like I was talking about. As soon as the attendant spawns, go for the boss. Get the longest time away from attendance, and now just go ham. So I'll pop my berserk here. Let's see if I get good value in berserk. You usually get the best value on your berserk if you use it when you're already full combo points, um, and then you berserk before you use a finisher. Um, looks like I'm not getting great value out of my berserk. Gonna get a. I'm getting a lot of free casts. You guys saw me do that primal on those ads. I'll usually kind of dip out and just go for those ads. Um, this one, I'm getting a lot of good value for it because I did it immediately. Uh, so my team hasn't yet been able to kill those ads, but I'm getting the benefits. I'm reaping the benefits of hitting so many people and then and them remaining up. So I'm going to do it again, see if I can get good lucky with this one. Attendance up. Got a free bite. I'll use it on this set of tenant. Why not? Um, also, um, you're not going to see me do this a lot in this video, but you want to try to snipe some of those interrupts if you can, um, what your build should be doing. So we're going to try to kill these guys. Um, I ended up popping heart of the wild cause I was being stupid and didn't realize there was one right here. Um, I should have stayed in cat form and just killed this guy. Something you can do though, I think you'll see me do it in this kill is you do not need to stay in your square. Um, so you don't need to stay here. You don't take damage. What this dancing phase does is you need to move, and you need to move that square. If you don't move to the square you need to, then you take damage. So we see here, and I'm going to move back to the left. I'm getting some damage off, and I'm getting back, and I'm still getting my haystacks. Um, so that one was really exaggerated. Um, you know, but I was like, really, here's me trying to get a lot of primals off on those hands. That was me really just uh, trying to get that guy down, right? This one's a little bit sketch. 
I just cut everybody off. So luckily nobody died. But yeah. Okay, so this is a push phase. This is a you know 50 to zero percent before you get overrun with ads. Um, so really going to be trying to get some primals off, but not not try to exaggerate it too much because hey, you know we still want to be focusing as much as we can on single target and not forget about that. So hopefully I'm not swiping too much, um, and instead I'm just you know shredding. Um, that is just something that just happens normally. When you get a lot of ads up, you know, it, you got to really train, train yourself mentally not to do it because it just happens. So a lot of ads up. Let's see if I can get some primals off. It looks like I bit that guy instead. Not sure what happened there. That was a misplay. I need to get a primal off. Okay. Okay, so we got this attendant up, which is shielding the boss. I think this is when all hell breaks loose. Okay. And I get punched back into it. Boop. So that kind of sucks. Um, but that's it, you guys. Very, very difficult fight. So this would have been good for me because I got to primal with everything, get some good free bites, a lot of free bites. But that's okay. We still end up parsing pretty well. Um, Tend it down. Now we can just DPS boss, and our tanks are just kiting, just trying to survive because they're going to die immediately. And that was it. Got the kill. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, something like this, let me know. Um, talking through it if it was helpful or not, if it was annoying. But that's it. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.